Whoa. Check uh, this place out. Security protocol activated. Scan artist security credentials immediately. Uh. How do I do that? guys we're just about ready to pass through the gate uh, there's a bunch of resources right near here but there's also a huge belching thingamadoodle that's spitting acid all over the place so we have to see if we can avoid that as much as possible I think we got the first tier of acid protection but it's it's only like 15% still better than a kick in the ass though to have some um, uh, medical kits that came out of nowhere. Let's run up here. Let's see if we can grab these tree candies without stepping in the crap. That'll be good enough. Yeah, see, that's the thing there that's just spitting those things like crazy. And they travel a long ways, too. Okay, we'll grab this crystal, we'll grab the power, and then we'll vomit us. Oh, that blew up the thing? Uh, either that or it just dissipated, maybe. Okay, I think that's it for all the resources. Let's grab this and head on up through the wall. Oh, I didn't know there were tourists around here. It's the first time I've seen them. You know what I think I'm going to actually do is I'm going to I'm going to swap these out now. Cuz I think we've we've gotten the majority of the resources. One nice thing about the wind blowing here all the time is it does keep these things spinning all of the time. Uh, so you know our battery doesn't run out quite as quickly. Let's go here. We'll assign that to that slot there. We just have to remember to turn it on when we get out of the car. Let's go. Dr. K's access records were coded to the lab that used to be here. I'm feeling less optimistic by the second. Not a scour this place clean. Uh, something's here. We just can't see it. Oh, following a hunch. <laughs> Not your usual M.O., Oppy. No, but being suspicious of Arda is. <laughs> okay, explore Dr. K's lab. Doesn't tell us where the lab is, so I guess we're going to have to find that on our own. Let's go left first. this door open? Nope. It doesn't. There's some loot inside that. Okay, let's turn... Uh, 
turn there we go turn that on seriously damn it Jim that is so cool man I love that down follow the access tunnel oh okay oh driver hang on where, where, where are you going there should have been the end of the facility according to the blueprints anyway hmm okay let's go back and get our car before we go down that way I just want to explore the other end. We're going to need to recharge our batteries. Oh, I love this, man. It even works when you're in the car, kind of like a police spotlight. That is really useful. There doesn't appear to be anything down this way. I am going to just quickly take a peek down here. Oh, there's nothing there. All right, let's grab this. some power back. Alright. I'm going to turn that off now because I think we've looked at everything there is to see. something inside of the trailer. There might be. went down there. in a barn, man. So this place is off the grid. Off the blueprint. Here, let's put let's put this back on. Okay, guess we go this way. That is really useful. That spotlight. Super useful. Whoa. Check this place out. Security protocol activated. Scan artist security credentials immediately. Uh. How do I do that? After all these years, an honor still has something to hide. <laughs> We're definitely onto something now. 
driver, anything you find down there, scan and transmit it back to us. We'll work on disengaging the security protocol. Why do I get the feeling like they're not going to disengage the security protocol in a timely manner? I don't know. Okay, so... Um... Let's see if we can loot first. Hopefully this is scripted so we don't... Things don't happen until we do the main stuff. Because I would like to get that plasma. That klaxon going off, though, does make me a little bit nervous. Look at that thing, man. That's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Are we supposed to scan stuff up here? I think we are. Art of Phenomenon Report 8080. Okay, here's something. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Tobias, run those reports through the decryptor and see what you can find. Let's look around and see if there's anything else up here before we grab the plasma over there. None of this stuff is scrappable. There's some fuel in there. See if there's anything over here. <coughs> Doesn't appear to be. Okay. They called it the well, huh? I was assuming this little spot up here would be the main place to go, but it looks like it's just one of several. Okay, scan this. Oh, you know what we should probably do also? <laughs> Let's go ahead and read these as we come across them. Uh, so, we'll go here. A limb magnet. Where did we come across one of those? The ferromagnetic material has enough pull to give it automobile applications. In other words, it can help to accelerate, restrain, or even balance components. Arda Phenomena Report 8080. Priority of Arda highly classified. Classified Arda research material found inside the Red Meadow facility. Oh, well, that doesn't tell us shit. Hood ornament. Let's just get caught up on all of this. There's the prop. Okay. And for all those moments where you won't need roads. Let's burn some rubber. Ooh, that looks cool. What else did we find? We found a sticker. Swag wagon sticker. Nice. Okay. These are new... Uh, or a new thing we found here. Mailman number six. I did it. I crawled inside. I've seen where they lead, where they go. It makes so much sense now. I found it between junction 5A and 6C. Sometimes you pass right through the normal. Uh, right through like normal. Other times you come back where you started, but in the opposite direction. But you never turn around, and there are no loops that could have led you there. And when that happens, sometimes you get a glimpse, a red light in the distance. It's waiting, looking for something. It lost a long time ago, reaching out. I'm certain that's the answer to it all, and I'm staying in here until I find out what it is. Okay. So I guess these 
reading these doesn't really tell us anything. Um. Oh, you'll like this, Tobias. Your remnant origin story, if you will. So let me guess. You're about to ruin a good urban legend with a bunch of science. <laughs> Fine. I'll read this one myself. <laughs> nice work, driver. We'll review these and summarize our findings after. Wait. Are you telling me we're done, or...? I don't know. Well, let's just keep on keeping on until they tell us we're done or something disastrous happens. Whichever comes first. Are you going to spark? Yeah, I was going to say. We should come back with a pretty decent... Oh, there's water here. Uh, pretty decent supply of plasma by the time this trip is all said and done. See? Two cans of putty just drop out of the sky right on my head. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's just anomalous. That's all I'm saying. It's all anomalous. Let's keep working our way around the facility. Impact hammer, we'll go make another one. If one of these places is dark, does that mean there's nothing more to scan? Or nothing to scan? I'm going to assume that for the moment. That may not be completely accurate, though. take a look up here. Nothing. Alright, yeah, I'm going to assume if the platform is dark, there probably isn't anything to scan. So if we go scan all the ones that are lit up and it's still not showing as completed, then will know that that's not the case. These lab notes are complete gibberish. What about these diagrams, though? It looks like he was trying to convey something. You can admire the doctor's newfound art skills all you want. 
You won't find anything useful in them. How do you know? Maybe Tobias is right. Um, why am I not moving? My car doesn't work. Why doesn't my car work? Well, now it works. Wait a minute. I can't... I can't go forward. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Oh no, I can't move myself forward either. Um, that's a problem. All right, hold on a second. All right, um, yeah, there was some, something on my keyboard that was malfunctioning with the W key, but it seems to be working okay now. Uh, oh, we do have... Wait, did we already scan this one? Yeah, I think we did, and then we broke the... The plasma thing. Alright, let's continue on here. But see, it's stuff like that. Had I not been able to get the keyboard working again... Um, to the point where I would have had to maybe turn the computer off or something, we would have lost all this progress. <coughs> That's why I wish we had the ability to save whatever the hell we wanted to, you know? But whatever. Especially because the other thing, too, is, you know, this is a single-player game anyway, so who cares if people save scum? It just doesn't really matter, you know? But apparently the devs didn't want to do it that way, so what can you do? I hope they fix that issue. I'm sure it's on their bug list. You know, with the car, when the car pops up and down like that. Did we... Wait a minute. Did we miss a place over there I think we did well maybe not how do we how do we get over there Don't I don't think we were supposed to get over here that way. Um Oh, we could have gone okay. It, yeah, I guess we could have just gone that way. Alright, well let's scan this next one. Uh where the hell's it at? That's weird. Encrypted record of the accident. Poppy, are you sure you want to hear this? It's got details about Ellen's final moments. It's been over 30 years. I'm past ready. Go on, 
driver. Keep snooping and see what else you can find. Okay, where's my car? It's this way. scan this one already? Yeah, we did. Cause I, oh, right, I turned around to go back to get that one closer to the center. I'm kind of like all mixed up now. There's going to be one up there. Where was the... Where's the main gate? Just in case the shit hits the fan. I want to be able to get out of here quickly. I think I think this is it, isn't it? Well, if it is, it's closed. Yeah, that's... Uh, is that the first one we scanned? I think so. Well, you know something's going to happen as soon as they're done having a scan. They're going to say, oh, hey, by the way, we never actually managed to uh, cancel the security code thingy. And if you don't get out of here in five seconds, the whole place is going to come down on your head or something like that. It'll happen. You watch. There it is. I'm going to actually grab this first in case we do have to make a quick getaway. Let you know what we found in all this data. And make your way back to the auto shop after you're done scouring the place. And drive her? Thank you. Damn. She's starting to get just a little bit nicer. <laughs> um. Did the door open back up for us? I'm not convinced. I'm not sure that that's the door, though. It doesn't tell us or show us a map on how to get out of here. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's over there. Okay. I'm, I'm like really surprised that, uh, we didn't have some kind of catastrophe and it was a situation like, get the hell out of there quick kind of thing. I, I am. I, I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm very surprised that that didn't happen in here. All right. Before we leave. Wait a minute. Was that thing all lit up before? Like it is now? I don't know. Don't remember if it was or not. Um, I mean, what else is there for us to scan in here? We got a, a nice little supply of plasma. 
But I'm not really seeing anything else lootable, you know. None of this lab equipment seems to be recyclable. That's crazy looking. I'd like to know what this place did. I mean, what's the purpose of it? Inquiring minds and all that. Hmm. Okay, well, I I guess there's nothing else for us to do here. We could, we could pop our resource scanner on and give that a squirt and just see if anything shakes out. I mean, there's some fuel cans in here, but we don't need that, of course. is most likely outside the building. Yeah, all I see inside of here are fuel fuel drums. Okay, well, let's go. Our work here is finished. Still don't be surprised if something crazy happens any moment now. I am fond of saying we're out. Uh, what the hell? Why did that say have a whole mess of the gravity of the situations? I guess we're I guess we're done, right? With this mission. Just says to return to the auto shop. Okay. Um Yeah, those are just the other reports that we did which don't tell us anything. Route map. All right. Well, um it oh, well, it does seem to indicate that it wants us to go here cuz it's got the little uh, green push pin thing in the middle. Doesn't tell us anything about the junction conditions there, though. All right, well, let's go there. Okay, so it just sent us here to go through a gateway. Drive out, you hit the jackpot. We've got a lead on what you're heading toward in the deep zone. Tobias, give us the rundown about the well. 
ought to classify it as a hot spot of ultra high energy gamma radiation. Its eruptions were spontaneous and ultimately Autumn made no conclusion about what caused it, when it would blow, or how destructive it would be. Otter, of course, wanted to control this bottomless well of energy. So they brought in Dr. K and Alan to research activation and containment. They discovered a way to reliably trigger the well, and that was the remnants. And that's what the remnants have been leading people towards. Okay, I just heard that right. He said the remnants are the things that fuel the well. I think that's what I heard him say. How come my door's not closing? Okay, we've got a couple of tree candies over there. Oh, that's new. That big yellow bouncing ball thing. All right, we got something new to scan. And uh, we also have a, a couple things of power we're gonna pick up over here. What in the hell are those things? I don't know, let's go. Let's go over here first. More document. I've reviewed Dr. K's lab notes. And now we know what he was doing in that lab after the accident. Spinning in circles for years. His injuries were real. Dr. K's radiation exposure should have been fatal. And the minute he could stand on his feet again, Arda shuttled him right back to his lab and bit the monkey to dance. They allowed him to carry on in the hopes that he would reproduce anything useful. He worked for two whole years before they quietly retired him from his post. <laughs> Sorry, we scrambled your brain. Here's your pension. Bye. Oh, shit. There's three of them. Yikes. No, you don't. No, you don't. Fuck off. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get all this tree candy. I think we needed to s um, scan those moldy balloons for something um, that we need to make. Damn it. No. Go away. Alright, let's... That's good enough. Let's go. These guys are really starting to get on my nerves. Bouncing moldy balloon thingy. Lovely. Alright. Uh, we got a... Oh, shit. We got a power node thingy over here. Looks like there's some plasma off to the left, a couple candy trees, and a, either an investigator or a van truck down below. 
on the right hand side. for a little bit of health. Okay. Let's just move forward. I'm assuming this is a perpetual stability zone, too. Oh, right. We need to go get that investigator. Let's just drive down that way. We got some hot dust. All of those trees are no good. steel bumper and a crude headlight. I think I'm going to leave both of those. Just because we're kind of in a nasty spot right here. something wrong with our limb pulse emitter. Is it just really badly damaged? Oh, it's, it's, uh, wait. Yeah, it's shocked. Um, and it looks like it's going fragile on us too, so we're gonna have to replace it when we get back. Alright, let's head towards the other power. Get that and then I wouldn't mind finding some more thermosap crystals. Um, well here, we can get a couple off of this car. Actually, I probably don't have room for any panels, do I? Got too much shit. All right. I'm thinking about switching over to full-on radiation protection anyways. 
at least, you know, for the remainder of our time in the mid zone. Don't seem to take too terribly bad amount of um, you know, physical damage. Okay, the power anchor should be somewhere around here. Maybe. I thought it was somewhere around here. Oh, no, we need to drive a little bit more to our right. Bouncing mold thingy. Okay, um, let's see here. I think what we'll do is we'll pick up this power and then we'll drive over to here and then just go straight down the road to the gateway. Should be fairly easy to do. Where's the, uh, where's he at? Stuck in the trees, maybe? He is stuck in the trees. Sucks for you, dude. Should, should get one last plasma thingy before we get out of here. Nice. 
this. Bar's kind of taking a bit of a beating. With all this acid. Um. Oh, there's the road. Is, is that the same one we did earlier? I don't think it is. panels on that car. It's pretty good loot for a single car. There's another crystal thingy, too. And some lead panels. Let's um, touch up our really bad panels. Got a little bit of putty here. Uh, so it's our hood and our passenger side door. Can we... That's not really damaged, it's just still shocked. Uh, these panels are pretty bad too. Driver's side door could use a a squeegee. Um, let's let's hit this first, and the rear passengers. Okay, that's got some kind of malfunction. We'll have to deal with. Those are okay. But I hit this already. Wait, what? what the hell? Uh, something's bugged out with that. It's like the door is repaired, but it's not registering. Huh. That's odd. up there. We are really going to be... Oh, well. <laughs> that's our that's our cue. We've worn out our welcome. We've pulled some serious resources out of this zone. Well, these last two zones. Um, for sure. to that blue marker so we're far enough away to activate the gate. Quite get around that. It's a few 
fuel truck. I don't want him to aggro on us because my limb pulse is not working. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Bubblegums harass me and I don't have limb pulse. Ugh. Leave me alone. All those fuckers always show up right when I'm trying to get through a gateway. Um. I know, this is crazy. No, get out of the cord. Oh, I don't have an imp. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My impact hammer's broken. Let's just go. Let's just go. We got enough. The Red Meadow Records. I just got an achievement called the Red Meadow Records. Zone. Easy peasy. Yeah, right. Except for the issue of the old wall. Right, yeah. That. Uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve, huh? Is that how you think it works? That scientists conjure up genius at will? Well, yeah. Do you? <laughs> well, in this case, I do. But don't expect it to work like that every time. Driver, the quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall, but they're death traps in their own right. But I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. Alright, cool. The deep zone crossing. Alright guys, well, um, we're going to wrap the episode up here. I'm going to get the car fixed up, get stuff put away, get situated. And um, in uh, the next episode, we might, we might go ahead and do the deep zone crossing or... I mean, yeah, we probably almost certainly will, but I might do another run... Uh, off camera run before then. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but you guys will certainly know when the next episode starts. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.